power station. Here the split module is used to send the output from function 2 to the fold input and the space out amount input. In this example the sound will play automatically because a constant 3.3 volt signal is sent from the A plus B times C output to the LPG1 level input. This 3.3 volt signal is a maximum level signal so the volume at LPG1 is set to maximum when this connection is made. This makes the carrier wave audible without any notes being played because the carrier wave has a default connection to the LPG1 signal input. You could remove the connection between the A plus B times C output and the LPG1 level input to make this patch suitable for playing melodies or rhythms. Liftoff. This patch creates two layers of pitch modulation by combining both function signals. After these signals are combined, they're sent to the utility ABC module. At this stage, the C knob is used like an intensity control to reduce the range of this signal so that when it's sent to the source pitch input, it creates the desired amount of variation in the pitch of the carrier wave instead of a very extreme high to low pitch variation. <laughs> Lift off extra bass. This sound is the same as the lift off sound that we just looked at, but now we've added extra bass frequencies using the modulator wave. The ratio setting is at the minimum position, so the modulator wave is generating very low bass or even sub bass frequencies. We've added this to the sound by connecting the source modulator wave output to the LPG2 signal input and we've given this the same volume envelope as the carrier wave by connecting the function 1 positive output to the LPG2 level input. You'll hear the difference in these two sounds if you're listening on a big system with good bass response or perhaps a subwoofer.